Hi, I'm Mike Lombardo, real estate expert. And I wanna to talk to you today a little bit about seller financing. Let me begin by speaking about what seller financing is. Seller financing means that the seller is holding a note against the property, similar to what a bank holds a mortgage against the property. In instances where somebody owns the property outright, or the down payment is significant enough to pay off existing liens and encumbrances, seller financing might be appropriate. Typically, a person that wants seller financing is somebody that has a property that either is unique and unusual, difficult to finance, or they are looking to make money on their money, usury. <laughs> so in those instances that a property is unique or unusual, sometimes it's difficult to sell that property and seller financing gives a wider pool of buyers to buy that property. In cases where the property is unfinanceable, there may be something that needs to be cured on the property and selling it to a handy individual through seller financing allows somebody to buy it, fix it up, and sell it at a higher price than they would be able to normally achieve if they sold it in current condition. And the third way is if somebody's looking to make money on a property. So once you sell your property, you own this note. The other person owns the property, but you still have a lien on that property. The note is earning you interest, probably greater than what you would be able to earn on a CD, a bond, or other investment vehicles that are readily available. And so a lot of people go, well, I would like to get six, 7% on my money. This sounds like a great idea. There's minimal risk involved because you got a substantial down payment from people. And that substantial down payment allows you to mitigate your risk, make sure that you paid off all their closing costs and everything else. And now you've got a note that's paying you money month after month. In addition to that, you can be strategic about how you design the note for your own personal needs and desires. Typically, I recommend to people that they should cap the, they should balloon it at 10 years, seven years, because most of that is interest at that point. And then after that, they're paying against the principal. It becomes less advantageous for you, less profitable, and therefore you can sell it at that time and get your money and reinvest it at something else. If you have questions about seller financing, your situation, or how seller financing might work for you or might not work for you, please give me a call. I'd be honored to help you and talk to you about your property, your needs, your situation, and try to set up a situation that works for you, meets your needs, and puts you in the best position possible.